So this will be a demonstration of perfect travel. I have scouted this seed to know it has 20 obby. It's a good fashion. The blind would be really terrible if you just did it at the spawner. But perfect travel, it's uh, definitely not terrible. So I ran this once back in like January and got it like a 14.30 with it. But I think I can do quite a bit better with perfect travel because the blind's like 1500 or something. Now, obviously, if I was going for a good time on the seed, I could just go to the portal, excuse me, portal room. But I think it perfectly kind of demonstrates how perfect travel could work in a run. So, our entry is going to be that room portal over there. So overworld is kind of terrible. There's like no trees, no easy food. I'm ignoring dandelions. Uh, in a real run, you probably get them, but I already know there's nothing in the nether. Absolutely no mushrooms. off this pretty stacked rune portal god apples really uh really nice to have instantly you get blown up by a gas cool passions right there I think if you get perfect luck, this could be a sub-10 seed. With perfect travel. When, like, in my practice, it was like a 14, so... Alright, we'll see how it goes. I am not exactly sure what time I'll end up getting. And it also depends on, like, rod luck and stuff. So just loot these chests. First bit of obsidian there, it's nice. You do not want to dip yourself in that lava there. I've made that mistake on my first time playing through. Oh, are they all mad? Or did they get something else? I don't like that, that's the sound of piglins dying. Let's go over and get our gold. Nice enderman there. Uh, a bit late for him to show up. Fortunately, we're gonna have a sniper dealing with us. Just teach him who's boss. No pigs around here, kind of surprising. There's a lot of pigs, like, down below, huh. So we'll come here and build our pole here. Hope we get a lot of pigs. Two. Gonna have any more? Uh, 
let's get these guys over here. Pigs kind of suck. Whatever. Such is bridge. I shouldn't have tossed that nether bricks. We good to go. Uh... Yeah, we are, okay. So we'll pop our gap. Head over to our fortress. that wave we'll uh, make our first portal now in this run we need some wood so we'll grab that and I'll also toss my axe so I don't forget about it later so here we'll uh, find a chunk intersection. This looks uh, good right here, I think. Yep. Set our settings properly. Perfect, 146.42. Now, ideally you'd have someone in your chat do it. But here, okay, bot says 45 minus 69. And we're in 89 minus 12. So I'm gonna put this in notepad, but you'd have this in your Twitch chat probably at this point. So set our settings back to normal. Uh, I'm gonna get the eye, you don't have to. So yeah, I wanna do that math while we're fighting the blazes. So that looks like it's gonna be minus 44, minus 81. Then you have to multiply by two, add one to convert portal cords. So I said what, minus 44 minus 81 would become minus 87 minus 161. So now we just finish up our blaze fights. Our angle was 140, so uh, we're gonna go that way when we're done. So, Leave on five more rods. Two. You know, or you could high roll, I guess, because you know you don't need a. Uh, no, you don't need any triangulation uh, eyes, so you don't, have, you don't have to worry about eye breaks. 
is what I'm trying to say but can't articulate. Okay, still on three. Just picked up my junk pile. You love to see it. Dang, if we had good rods, we could probably be out by now. Instead, we're getting, uh. Yeah, we're getting four and 14. Typical. Wow. Let's check this other spawner. Hopefully this is a... Oh my god, we're not going over there. Yeah, that's uh... It's dangerous. I guess we could go now. Really unfortunate rod situation here. Four, you know what? I already know this is a two eye. <laughs> but I mean, Hyrule is up to you. So it's, I said minus 87, 181. Yeah, 80, or 161, my bad. 87, 161. Stand right in the middle of that. And hey, we're in the stronghold. And actually, the portal room. So that means we missed, but our miss wasn't that bad. So yeah, we're in. So what happened with that angle is we had three hits that were really close together, so we uh, ended up in the stronghold. Is that a perch? Nope. I'm really bad at perching nips, sorry. That might be one. No. Is that it? That's it? Okay. And uh, sub 13 with horrible, horrible rods. So I hope that kind of demonstrates how the method works. How you do it in a run, kind of just what it really, what it really would look like. Uh, right now, our experimental accuracy is about seventy percent with landing in the stronghold. So I think it's probably worth it compared to losing ninety-nine percent of your runs to a ship blind. But hey, you be the judge of that. Two minute improvement over my other blind, and I'm pretty sure that run had way better rod rates. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See ya.